Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day four. Say hi. Hello. So today is day four of my little weight loss, fitness journey, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's already noon. Um, I'm going to throw on a clip after this clip of what I had because um, I've already ate a little something. Um, I had a little chicken sandwich. So I'll throw in that little clip um, and the calories and all that after this clip. But yeah, it's noon. I haven't had any coffee or anything yet. I've just been drinking water. Pretty proud of myself that I didn't immediately just drink coffee. I usually drink coffee before I drink water. But yeah, I'm drinking water. Oh, I weighed in today. I didn't tell you guys. So my weigh-in was good. Um, I just don't know if I want to share my weight. It's kind of like a little embarrassing, but it's kind of like... You know, whatever, like, fuck it also. Okay. I weighed in this morning, and it's 215.6 pounds. I'll throw in a little picture, too. Like, right here. Throw in a picture. Um. But, hang on. So yeah, um, that was the my way in for today, so that means I'm down two more pounds. I hadn't weighed myself in a couple of weeks, but it was because that one week I was like off track, and then this week I've been doing good, so, um, look it up here. So yeah, I'm down another two pounds, so that's really good. Um, my starting weight was like, of this year, January 1st, my starting weight was 227, and I'm down to 215. So that means I've lost 12 pounds so far in January. That's pretty good. I've lost 12 pounds in January. I think that's pretty good. Um, especially because I haven't been on track all of January. Um, I've been like on and off, on and off. But yeah, today's day four. Um, I am going to work out today. I already have my workout pants on. I just got to change my shirt. I'm waiting for my um, workout bra to dry in the dryer. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're not supposed to be over there. But, yeah, I'm waiting for my workout bra to dry, and then I'm going to get changed. I already, like, washed my face and did all that. I just need to, like, brush my teeth. I kind of did my hair. I hate doing my hair. But, yeah. So, I'm going to get dressed, go work out. Oh, I'm going to get a coffee first, because I haven't had my coffee today. But... I want to try McDonald's caramelized coffee because their vanilla was good, so I want to try the caramel and see if I like it, just because it's cheaper, save on calories, and I need to break the cycle of always getting my, like, really fatty, high-calorie coffee, you know? So, yeah, um, I will see you guys in a little Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to leave to go to my parents to go work out. I just wanted to record because he looks so cute. He hates wearing hats, but you look cute. Here's his outfit for today. Oh, oh God. Tripped on the dog. But yeah, here's his outfit. Um... He has a sweat shirt with a hoodie that matches these pants, but I can't find it. It might be in the dryer somewhere. I don't know. Because sometimes I mix the baby clothes with our clothes, so I think that's what happened. I know it's got to be here. Is that a hole? <sighs> I have a hole in my shirt. Cute. But, yeah. Um, I love these pants. They're so cute. And it's really cute with this little matching sweatshirt, but I can't find it. But I just have a little black... You're clinging to me like crazy. Just a little black shirt with your hood. You look so cute. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys my baby. Because I know I don't show him a lot sometimes when I'm focusing more on just like weight loss type style vlogs instead of like mom style vlogs. But here's the baby. Say I'm 10 months old. He knows. He We have a dog now. Her name's Willow and he knows what Willow is. <laughs> He knows what kisses are. He gives everybody kisses. Um, he knows what his little balls are. He'll go and play with them. What else? He's just so smart. You know what ball balls are. He'll say mama, dada. His birthday is March 6th. He'll be one years old. 
I'm trying to figure out a theme for the party. I'm thinking maybe like baby shark or even like puppy dogs. I haven't really decided yet. But it's gonna be fun. You're gonna get presents and you're gonna get cake. Yeah. But yeah, I figured I would just show you guys the cute little baby. Cause she's so cute. Hey guys, so I went and got a coffee from McDonald's and I decided to be risky and get the caramel. It's a medium. It's not very good. It's very like that syrup, artificial taste. I don't want to be wasteful though. I'm just going to drink it, um, but I should have just got the vanilla. McDonald's caramel coffees are not good. Um, Cause like the other day I went to Dunkin and I got a caramel iced coffee and it was actually really good. Um, so I figured McDonald's would be good, but I should have known that their caramel frappes aren't good, so their caramel coffees probably wouldn't be either. But I figured I'd give it a chance, and I don't like it. Won't be getting again. So, um, my normal, you know, order is always going to be a mocha. But when I'm, like, you know, trying to be healthy, like, now, when I go to Dunkin', I'm going to start getting the caramel coffees. And when I go to McDonald's, I'm going to start getting the vanilla coffee because they're actually way better. This caramel shit, like, is not good. Like, I almost want to go to Dunkin' and get, um, get a, uh, caramel one. But, because I did get a buy one, get one free, and I got my mom a caramel frappe because that's what she likes. So, technically, I didn't pay for it. So I might run to Dunkin' and now that I'm thinking, since I used that coupon, I didn't technically pay for it. So, yeah. I am going to go to Dunkin' and get a uh, caramel one because this just tastes like shit. It just really ain't good. Like, I, I don't know what's up with McDonald's caramel coffee. It's like, tastes so artificially, like syrup and like, I don't know. And I know it's obviously going to be, like, artificial, but, like, it just tastes really bad. Um, so I was just at my parents pulling up, because they live very close to, like, where all the fast food places are. And I'm going to go to Dunkin', and I'm going to get myself a caramel coffee, because theirs are actually really good. Okay, you guys, so I just got back from Dunkin'. Got a small... Caramel coffee with cream. So much better than the McDonald's ones, holy hell. So, I feel bad, but this whole thing, unless my mom wants it, is going to go to waste. Because it ain't it. This is 20 more calories, but that's okay. The McDonald's one was 180 calories, and this one's 200. But still less than I usually drink. I was getting in the habit of drinking like 400 calories per coffee and that's just bad. So yeah, I'm on my way to my parents right now. I'm gonna hang out with them for a minute, let my coffee settle and stuff and then I'm gonna work out and I will record a little bit in there. Okay you guys, I did, I only did 15 minutes on the treadmill and burned. 60 calories which I know is like not really good but I'm just really not feeling it today even though my weigh in was like really good and everything I'm just not feeling like working out today like I had to make myself come work out like I'm just like make, trying to make up all these excuses like oh I could be cleaning or I have to work tomorrow, yada yada, but I'm here, I did the treadmill for 15 minutes, um, which is better than not coming at all, and I'm on the bike right now, I'll probably do 20 minutes on the bike, so that'll be like 35 minutes, and then I'll do like 5 minutes of stretching, so like 40 minutes total here, which... 
isn't very good, but I put my resistance up on the bike. I know it's not very good, but at least I'm here. Because I'm telling you, like, I don't want to be here. Like, I just, I'm not feeling like working out today. I don't know. My hair looks like shit all the time. But, yeah, after I get done working out, I have to go take David a Red Bull at his work. And then I'm going to go home and figure out what I'm going to do for dinner. And then cook and clean. And get ready um, for work tomorrow. Like, get everything laid out, get the baby's bag packed and everything. <sighs> I don't know why I feel like... I feel like fat today. I don't know. Shit's weird because it's like some days when it's like I don't even know my weight and like I don't feel like yesterday, like the day before, like I didn't really feel fat. I was like feeling good. And then like on my weigh in day, my weigh in was actually good. Like I haven't weighed 215 since like close to a year. Um, because like after I had my son. I was going through a really bad depression for like a month and I wasn't really eating anything. So in March of last year, which is almost a year ago, I got down to 215 after I had my son. And then it was like once I got my appetite back, I jumped back up another 10 pounds. So I'm at like back down to like a lower weight, which I mean it's still a high weight, but you know, like, um, I'm losing weight. I've lost 12 pounds in January, even though I haven't even been on track very well besides these past few days. Like, I've been, like, on and off. But these past four days, like, I've really actually stayed on track. And I'm going to today. But I just feel... I just don't feel very good today, mentally. I don't know. So I really didn't even want to be here, but... I made it, I made myself come. So, I'll let you guys know when I'm done with the bike, how long I did and how many calories I burned here. Okay, so I ended up doing 25 minutes and burned 105 calories. Hey guys, so I'm back home and there's the baby. He's eating some of my food. So I'm having a taco salad. As you can see, it's mostly lettuce, but there's also some meat in there and some cheese and some light sour cream. So that's what I'm having right now, and then I'll put the calories on here, and I'm gonna share. Whoa, I'm gonna share it with the baby because he really likes. It. Hey guys, so I'm really feeling like shit right now. I just um binged a little bit, kind of a lot, a little bit, whatever. I made those tacos, and I should have known because I've talked about it before how. Tacos kind of trigger me, but I didn't have any taco shells or tortillas or anything, so I was like, I'll be alright. I'll just have a taco salad. Well, that one taco salad. <laughs> Sorry, he was fussing. But that one taco salad turned into two taco salads, turned into three taco salads. <laughs> oh, you want to give them a kiss? Okay, go ahead. There you go. Thank you. Just giving you guys kisses. Okay, let mama hold it. So I ate like a bunch of taco salad, like a lot of it, like three, oh thank you baby, I had like three bowls, I had the one that I showed you guys, I went back for a second one, then I went back for a third one, so I had three taco salads, and then I had a cinnamon roll, and then I had some, Ugh, they're still sitting right here, I feel like shh. I don't know why I did that. Vanilla wafers. I don't know why I ate all of that. I really don't. Like I said before in the past, tacos are kind of triggering for me. And I am pretty sure that I have binge eating disorder. Um, never been diagnosed, but I know a lot about it. And I know myself. And that was definitely just a binge. Um, the only victory is that it's home food, I guess, like, and I'm stopping, like, I'm done. It's only 5 p.m., but I'm not going to eat anymore for the rest of the day. <clears throat> um, are you trying to get a cookie? He likes these, too. <laughs> but, you are so cute. What are you doing? 
Are you trying to get a cookie? Here. And mama get you a cookie. Mama get you a cookie. If mama can get a new. Sorry guys. But there you go. But I'm just trying to bite it. These melt pretty quick. But, yeah, I just ate so much. I feel really sick to my stomach. Really, really regret that. I really feel like I'm going to get sick. Um, <laughs> this is embarrassing, and I was almost just going to, like, not even come on here and say anything. And I was just going to, like, either A, act like it didn't happen, or B... Just like so have a black screen and like type it out, but I just don't. I just want to be honest in this little weight loss journey. You know, I do ha suffer from binge eating, and it's not going to be perfect. I'm really proud of myself that I haven't. Like, when was the last time I even binged? It's been at least a week, and that's like big for me because there was a point in time where I would binge like almost every single day. So, I mean, I'm getting better, but I'm going to have my days, you know what I mean? It just really, like, sucks. Because it really makes me feel like shit, and I feel guilty. And I just physically feel ill. Like, I ate so much that I physically feel like I'm going to get sick. It's, like, really disgusting. Um, but it, I'm being real and raw and honest, and... That's the whole point of documenting this little weight loss journey, and I just need to, like, every time, I'll be doing really, really well, and the day that I make tacos is the day that I binge, and I just need, I don't know why I do that to myself, and it sucks because I would love to just be able to eat a taco salad and call it a day, but I just can't, like... If you guys haven't seen my past videos, um, I have been kind of like struggling with my weight and binge eating since I was like really young. Like, I remember in elementary school thinking I was like fat and like trying to like change how I ate, but in junior high, um, my like weight was still pretty bad. And, um, I would always just feel like shit about myself. And then in high school was where my binge eating and restricting and all that started. Um, when I was a freshman, like the summer of my freshman year, going into sophomore year is when I like really started like starving myself and like losing a lot of weight really quickly. And then I would binge and because I was restricting myself so much I would binge, but I haven't been restricting myself. Um, like a lot, so it was just the tacos, it triggered me. Hey, don't be grabbing on Luigi, come here. But, yeah, like I was gonna say, like, when I was in, like, junior high or high school, my mom would make tacos, and I, stop. And I would binge on them. Thank you. I would binge on tacos so bad, like, there's a memory this is really embarrassing, but I'm just gonna say, <laughs> um, I was in junior high when this happened. Me, I had just ate, like, three or four tacos. Obviously, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Hang on. But, yeah, um, I had ate, like, three or four tacos. It was, like, warm out. Me and my friend went outside cause to go, like, play. I, we were, like, in junior high. And I was laid out on the curb. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I was laying down, literally, outside in public. I used to live next to this old, like, it used to be an old high school turned into, like, a, not a nursing home, but, like, an old people home. It was in that parking lot. There was, like, a curb. I was laid out, and I was so full. I felt so sick. And I told my friend to go back in the house. And get two more tacos and pretend one was for her and one was <laughs> for me, but to give me both of them. And I was already, like, <laughs> in, like, physical pain 
from how full I was and I was asking my friend to go sneak us some food. But like give <laughs> me all the food. Like you don't get any. That's embarrassing, but that happened. Um That's when like looking then I didn't realize it what it was. But looking back on that moment, like I was struggling with food issues from a very, very early age. Because if you're eating to the point of you feel like you're gonna throw up and then you wanna eat more, like that's an issue. And I was young, like eleven, twelve I was like twelve, thirteen I might have been thirteen. I was in junior high though, so I was like young. And so that whole like I would always binge on tacos growing up. So now as an adult I'm twenty four, I still can't make tacos or I will binge. And it's like I thought I was setting myself up for success because I didn't buy tortillas. I didn't buy any kind of chips for dip. I didn't buy any like taco shells, nothing. So I was like, I'm good. But like, no, I ate like all of the meat. <laughs> and then I wanted something sweet. So I had a cinnamon roll and some like vanilla wafers. Like that's just like disgusting. And it's 5 p.m. and I'm laid out on the couch like feeling sick. What? Like it's really... I hope some of you can like relate to this. Because I'm sure there are some of you who are like, just don't do it. Just don't eat. But like it's it's... Not black and white like that, you know? Like, I don't know. I just am really feeling sick. I'm going to lay here for a few. Let my food settle and try to, like, not feel sick. Drink some water. And just, like, not eat anything else for the rest of the day. Um, so, yeah. This might be the end of the video. Um, it should be. If I eat anything else, God forbid... I'll come back on here and let y'all know because I'm being like really real and raw and like honest with you guys. I didn't want to film myself like binging. I was like, like if any of you guys know, you know, like, but if this is the end of the video, thank you for watching. Um, tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow's day five. I work tomorrow. Work really helps keep me on track too, but yeah, tomorrow will be a better day. Um, normally back in my past, I would let days like this turn into weeks, turn into months, and I'm not doing that. Like, I messed up. I'm going to move on. Have a better day tomorrow. So, thank you guys for watching. And if you made it this far, comment. I want to talk to you guys. And subscribe if you want to... Go along with me on this little weight loss journey. Um, I don't know how many days I'm going to be, like, doing this, like, daily and posting it. Um, these have been my days off. That's why, like, I'm posting, like, one day. You know what I mean? Um, but, like, on, like, my work days, I work three days in a row starting tomorrow. I might just combine all three of those days into one video. Because I am not going to be filming a whole lot because I'm working most of the day, so... Anyways, I'm going to quit rambling. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.